Hey everybody, it's Goody Parade and I have the new Ever After High Comic Con exclusive doll. I am so excited to open this up. I can hardly stand it. This box is big. Now, I do believe this is a big outer box, that there will be an inner box inside, and the Comic-Con exclusive Ever After High doll. So let's just look at this outer box real quick. I love how this looks like curtains, like the show's going to start. And here is the big spotlight, Ever After High. And then on the back, it has the same thing, except for the curtains are open, just a little tiny split. And there's a hand coming out with a little ribbon giving us a little tease. At the top you can kind of see the fringe that would go at the top of the curtains in the theater. All right, let's open this one. Bam, what do we have? Oh, wow. Cedarwood, Ever After High. Again, we've got the stage set here. We've got the curtains on the side. And in it, it's actually the way it's lighting in here. It's kind of interesting how you see the light behind, but she's kind of darkened. It's kind of like when they first release dolls and they just give you the silhouette of it. Oh, there's her face. And she has marionette strings because, of course, she is the daughter of Pinocchio. So she's a puppet too, a marionette. Her outfit looks just amazing. Her shoes look amazing. Her, oh, her nose. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sorry. The lighting is, I'm having a hard time illuminating her in the box, but we'll get her out and get a better look in a minute. All right, let's just look at this box. I love all the rich detail on the side. There's a clock for Geppetto's workshop, I'm sure. There is a picture of her on the back. And here it says help and there is a note. And I will just pause there a second in case you guys wanna pause and figure out how to read that. They have listed all the makers of the box and the doll there. Again, more juicy details on the side. Oh, and I love how the floor, it looks like the floor of a stage. So, okay, I'm gonna, oh, also, at the very top are her little marionette strings. I wonder, can you? Oh my gosh. Okay. So it un as I put my hand up there, it came undone somewhat. And then I went like this. And you can do her hands. Oh, so if you really wanted to just leave her all pretty in the box, you could do so. And still kind of play with her. Okay, I'm going to try to carefully get her out of this thing. Okay, I just pulled this out, which is super handy, and it shows exactly how to get her out of the box carefully and how she works, which I really appreciate, and how to put her back in the box. Okay, so we're going to give it a try. box is even cuter now showing in San Diego oh because it's the comic-con ever after high hall H line begins here very cute what does it say on this side oh ooh, it has some of the other dolls as marionettes I wonder if that's a sign of things to come a little foreshadowing there there's a little treasure box and there she is oh wow that is just gorgeous. Oh, and I love the little lights on the bottom of the stage and the wood floor and the curtains in the back. It's just darling. Oh, box designers. No wonder you put your name on the box because this is fabulous. Okay, I've been dying to ever since I saw a picture of her. Let's see if her mouth moves. No, it's just stuck in that kind of scary position and her nose is a little bendy. Oh, okay, gosh, dare I cut her out? Okay, I'm going to. Oh, look at her hanging 
you know, just hanging around. Oh my word. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. First, this is such a clever design. There are actual clamps here to clamp her in her waist, her arms, one of her or both of her legs so that you can display her in this box when you're done and then you can put the marionette handles back up here too so they don't get tangled and that's the best do they have awards for the best uh comic-con box ever because that that's gonna win <gasps> it's jiminy cricket it's a little cricket and these look like little wood sticks or golden covered wood sticks that's so cute see those details and then there's a little peg and a hole here you snap in Oh my gosh. Okay. I will tell you this doll was $40 at Comic-Con. <laughs> that is so adorbs. Wow. I love it. So she's really a real little marionette. I'm sure the people that do a lot of stop motion are just going to have a total blast with this doll. She's just hours of fun waiting to happen. That I can tell for sure. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from that and try not to tangle so we can just revel in her beauty. She has donkey ears and the little hat and her nose is growing, of course, so obviously she's been telling some lies here. And she's got that lovely wood texture on her skin, those big, beautiful painted eyes. I just love the way those are painted. And her mouth, some might say, is a little creepy scary. The little lips there and the little rosy cheeks. And then her outfit. Look at this big poof sleeves with a big cuff right here. And her arms are a wooden texture all the way down. And then she has these bracelet cuffs on her that are very important because the strings to the marionette are there. And then she has kind of a later hosen on, a kind of suspenders, braces over here. Oh my gosh, look at the lace on the top of her blouse. That is beautiful. And then here's her little waist piece. Goes all the way around. And then this beautiful skirt. Look at the ruffles. It's one, two, three, four layers. Wow, I think you know what? She's got this gorgeous hair too. Look, it's like a hot, it's almost like an orange pink. An orange pink with a lavender going through it. Okay, let's see if it would be crazy to take off this later hose and then check out her dress. Not totally crazy. Oh no, it's sewn on in the front. Okay, yes, totally crazy. So it does have a, a fasten in the back there. It does look like it's a one piece dress that this fits over. And then, oh, it even has a little crotch piece to hold the dress in place and also look like panties. And then her legs are really loosey goosey. Kind of reminds me of the honey swamps, uh, freak to chic and uh, monster high that is oh and then look she's got these little notches on her knees here that again the ribbons are tied to and then these beautiful mesh socks with little ribbon bow right there and then oh my gosh these shoes these i am speechless those are phenomenal, beautiful. Little cuckoo clock in the heel. Oh, that is just bravo. Bravo! <laughs> okay, this might be my favorite uh, Comic-Con doll exclusive this, of 2016 just over the top and I'm a big Monster High fan and I think she's kind of creepy scary enough to uh, be a Monster High doll. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?
Okay, well there she is, Cedar Wood. Let me know, creepy or totally awesome. All right, make sure you subscribe for future videos and bye for now.